Good morning. Good morning po. Uh, I'm James Fernando of uh, Skin.ph. My question is for Ms. Uh, for Dr. Chavez. What are the advantages of uh, spot-ons versus oral parasiticides? Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, actually, oral or chewable parasiticides doesn't have any independent activity. Unlike spot-on, of course, you have already seen it the body. Uh, they don't have any independent activity, so the kumbaga, parasite has to bite the dog first before it can come into contact with the active agent. Kasi Okay. Hope I answered your yeah. question. Other question, from, aside from dogs, uh, do you have any uh, solutions for cats? Uh, actually, we have FE Pro. That's for cats. Same solutions? Uh, yeah. Fibronil only. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Any more questions? Please proceed to our mic stand over here. I'll give you the mic. Thank you. Please state your name and do your question. And please direct it to the person you would like to ask the question to. Hi, good morning. I'm Adrian Achalian from OneProdmas.com. Um, for the doctor, um, it was shown, I'm sorry, um, it was shown earlier to said uh, for no infestations, it's really effective. But what about those that are, that are already attached? Ah, okay. Actually, the efficacy of, of everything, because like any other, uh, uh, for for things, because rather for fleas, the efficacy, the onset of action, yung po kasi is. Uh, for 24 hours, because the product has to be absorbed first by the skin. Question. And it for takes 48 hours. Pero kung uh, there are already takes na lang yun, you have to wait for uh, at least kung baga As para uh, ah, Dr. Galay. 48. Yeah, masayin mo lang. Yeah. 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 So, uh, in, in some of those studies that uh, tested the uh, product combination, so they showed that uh, within 48 hours, it was able to kill the ticks that were attached. In some of the experiments, they first uh, attached the, uh, or, or infested the dog with ticks before applying it. So it was able to kill 100% within 48 hours. Thank you so much for that. Any more questions from our friends? Oh, there is a mic over there. Oh, we'll proceed with Sir wearing a denim, and then after that, Sir with a polo shirt. Hi, uh, good, good morning, and uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, my name is RP from Next Feature PH. So uh, my question is, um, does this oral or I mean this panon is faster and more effective than injectables in in terms of preventing or um, in the prevention of uh, fleas and ticks. Is it faster? <laughs> more, more, um, faster or more effective? Uh, actually, um, I would say na it, uh, effectivity kasi depende on sa objective of the, uh, event. Pero kasi if, if you want to repel the, the ectoparasites, usually kasi the oral uh, parasiticides don't have the repellent activity. So, mas, for me, mas effective yung um, spot on compared to chewables. Kasi nga, uh, the parasite has to bite the dog first for to come into contact with the active agent. Uh, follow up question. So, even if the dog na has a lot of ticks uh, around the body, and means di ba parang nagiging? So is it still effective if you use FTX to do the spot on then? Yes, actually. Like for FTX, we have the insecticidal and parasitical property. So it doesn't just repel ticks and fleas, but it also kills and kills uh, insects and ticks. And safe to say, uh, you mentioned earlier the efficacy of the of the spot on takes effect and. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, 48 hours? 
Within 14, Within 14 hours. hours. And after that, it's safe na yung uh, dogs natin can play with other dogs na possible na mayroong case and case. Yes. Safe siya, uh, protected siya. Okay. Uh, question ka naman kay uh, Doktora, uh, Sheila Chavez. Um, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Guys, I have masks. So, um, <clears throat> Um, I was I was told before now when you are feed for example you left your uh, dogs um, feeding um, container outside and there is a bird that that and is it is it true that there is a possibility that the bird can carry diseases or when they step onto the left over the dogs. So, uh, yes, yeah, so some uh, birds can also bring, for example, virus or uh, or other disease causing organisms that may contaminate the food. So, it's it's a possibility. So, the, the disease, so it's like a food borne disease so in that case. So, it's a yes, yes. And last question, well, um, apart from, of course, us using ethics, um, what are your tips? para maging healthy and prevent natin yung taste and feel sa dogs natin. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So that's uh, good. that's a really good question because I mentioned it earlier that not all the ticks are in or, or the fleas are in the dogs at a particular time. Okay. So actually in in our parasitology class, we study about the life cycle of these parasites. And the reason for that is so that we know the right control strategy. Because, again, if you only focus on the ticks and teas that are in the dogs, so chances are there are those surviving in their environment, for example, in their cage, in their bedding. So, for example, the fleas, they actually lay their eggs in the dogs, and then the eggs will drop into the bedding, for example, into the carpet, and the immature flea, the larva, are actually hiding underneath, okay? So they, the, the next generation may be found there in the environment. So the best thing is you apply medication on your dog, and then you also apply, for example, insecticide in the environment of the dog, of the pet. But of course, you have to make sure that your dog is not there in the uh, area when you apply the insecticide, okay? So that's the holistic approach of controlling these parasites. All right, thank you so much. I believe we have a question coming from Sir, okay? Winston uh, from Ingorda. Uh, my question is, uh, before we apply the, uh, the, the medicine to our uh, poor babies, um, do we need to uh, ask permission to our vet? Or... Yes, actually we do recommend uh, your vet's recommendation. Because depending, you have, like, kanina, di ba, I, I um, have shown that depending on the health status of the animal, so it is, of, it, we recommend it talaga na or uh, ako ang kanyang recommendation from them. Oh, kasi baka mamaya, bigla gamitin yung ano na uh, without knowing na kung makakasama ko hindi doon sa bed na. Yes, first, uh, yes. Actually, uh, it is recommended for health, apparently healthy animals. Pero if there's underlying diseases, syempre, hindi natin siya uh, binibigay. To make sure, uh, yeah, to finish sure, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. One more question from, just to add, I think if your dog is healthy, it has no underlying sickness. Kasi alam naman natin yung dogs natin kung hindi ba tinadala natin sa pet. I mean, I, I, I gave my dog ethics uh, just uh, two weeks ago. And I, napansin ko na yung effectivity. And my dog is uh, in a boarding house kasi our house is under construction. So, He's mingling with lots of dogs, and some of them 
hindi naman maiwasan na may mga rapata. But I was checking when I was visiting my dog. And it's really effective. Wala ako nakita ng mga rapata. ไม่ได้ดีใช่ไหมครับไม่ได้ดีใช่ไหมครับไม่ได้ดีใช่ไหมครับไม่ได้ดีใช่ไหมครับไม่ได้ดีใช่ไหมครับไม่ได้ดี
Is, um, by the way, is fipronil overall safe for dogs? And um, what if they have like an allergic reaction to like your skin and you cannot remove it because it lasts a long time? Yes, uh, fipronil is generally safe for dogs. It's option. Uh, we do not indicate it for like for those with already having um, skin irritation. Mm. Like any other medications, kung ano man type sensitive sila to the product. Kasi kung iba iba naman po yung health status talaga ng ng So, but generally the product is safe. And it is also like if you have never, um, like I showed you a while ago the different mga studies. That the product is safe. Yeah, yeah. I might also have done my experience though, because I've used a lot of products with my rescues and my own dogs. Yeah. And I bought before, actually, this was in Europe, in, an over, in a grocery in Europe, mm -hmm. over the counter. I was doing uh, my grocery, then there's a spot that, oh, maybe I can put this. I bought it home here in the Philippines. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, the Siguro effective dog. But when I put it on, I don't want to get this. I mean, not on the hair. So I think we, as uh, pet owners, we really need to be careful, and we need to, uh, you do to make sure that these products are approved or kailangan alam natin talaga yung produkto and uh, they have past studies. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Uh, what we are also linking is uh, as a fish that normally uh, any malignation pharmaceutical companies to launch a product, we can call our clients, direct clients of pet clinic owners, or pet shop or pet owners, or dog lovers, or pet shop pet builders, something like that. that we, we, we want to sell it, right? So we will launch it in front of them and we can sell it with promos on the spot deal, something like that. This is the first time we want to uh, really want to make uh, this product should be uh, reach to the real uh, pet owners to know its importance and the efficacy of the product. That's the reason we called you as channel partners to make it more successful. So what she rightly mentioned that in a market, even for humans, uh, you, you, know, you know the concept called One Health, which is started from 2013. One Health means the what importance you are giving for our uh, health status, same importance you have to give to the pets. It's equally, that's called One Health concept, project. So in that case, the duplicates are me too products are available plenty in the markets, which many are approved, many is not approved. So in that case, this is the purpose of you people here uh, to give a right message and right direction that which is a right, right one to choose by the pet owners and to get the product by your pets. That's the reason the caption you see is uh, no compromise. There is no compromise because we are as a little bank, we committed for shaping the future of animal health. This is what we are working continuously. Now we want to be associated with uh, media partners to make this to the next level. That's the reason we are here. So we want to reach exactly what need to be do, what not to do. It's what a concept. That's the reason the specialist is doing, uh, is explaining us what is, what, how important is parasites, ticks, life cycle, all these things. Then she's already experienced the product, how it works, and the technicalities, she's at the China. So uh, the thing should be, as a holistic way, we have a total complete uh, information to you. Now, it's in your hand, how you make this even more successful by your words. That's most important. Thank you very much.